everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Well, what a beautiful young lady we've got in the kitchen. I tell you, we get some crackers in this kitchen, <laughs> don't we, Laura? I do. So this is Amy Archibald from... Couture Wedding Cakes by Sweet Cheeks. Did you get that? Couture Wedding by Sweet Cheeks. And I can't believe I have just remembered to say that. So, <laughs> normally I've got Sweet Cheeks, I've got Weddings, I've got Couture, I don't know what I've got. Anyhow, uh -huh. we've got two other beautiful young ladies in the kitchen tonight, which is Laura and Maria. Hi, girls. Hi. Hi. Oh, look at you. <laughs> you don't want to know what's going on behind God. the camera. <laughs> think, I think Maria's on one. Yeah. <laughs> So, Laura, do you want to say hello to everybody? Hi, everybody. <laughs> um, I'm so unprepared. I've not even got the comments up on the phone. <laughs> oh, are you not? All right, well, I'll keep talking then. Right, well, um, Amy has come down from Bonnie, Scotland. Uh, we're really pleased to have her in the kitchen. This is the first time she's been in the kitchen. And we want to show you her fabulous skills because they are amazing. I want to tell you about her Facebook page because I would like you to pop over to her Facebook page, give it a thumbs up. I like a page. We want to tell you about her classes. We want to tell you about her cutters. We want to tell you how you can buy things tonight. So um, Amy is going to make, and I have no idea whether it's a Dahlia, a Dahlia, or whatever it is. What is it? It's a Dahlia. Yeah, I've got it right the first time. I did. Right. I can't Do you know what? I've got myself... Delilah, everything yeah, we've had. I've got myself that confused. I actually don't know what it's called anymore. <laughs> you know I'm not very good with words. <laughs> right. Okay. So just to tell you, because... Uh, um, Laura's still just getting some comments up. So Amy actually makes her own cutters. Okay, we're not gonna sell the cutters. I'll tell you for why. Because when you buy them off a small company like Amy, when we bring them in ourselves and then we have to put our, put our price on and then we have to add VAT on, it makes the cutter very, very expensive. So you know what, the best thing to do is give you the best price. You buy them direct from Amy and you'll buy them from yep. www.coutureweddingcakes.co.uk. So, are we under this camera? Yes. Is that close enough? Yeah, perfect. So you can see there, www.coutureweddingcakes.co.uk and this set, which is the Dahlia set. <laughs> Dahlia! <laughs> yes. I have no idea what I'm saying. I'm trying Dahlia. to make sure I get it right. Uh, you can buy this set direct straight from Amy off her website, okay? And if you don't know how to buy it, you can see that there's a phone number there. And I'm sure you've not any of you got a pen straight away, but it's 07590 604 339. Give her a call, send her a text message. She'll tell you how you can buy one. Okay? No beauty calls. No. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. So, um, any of the cutters that she's using, she's got lots of other cutters on there as well. So you can buy them. Now, everything else you come to Sugar and Crumbs for. Mm -hmm. So, you've seen that we've got the wish list there. We, it's the, I always call it the wish list. That was the old name. It's called the FB must-haves. Why did we change it? Oh, because, because on we've this got new an actual web... yeah, wish that's list. why we changed it. Because <laughs> yeah. on this website now, we now actually have a genuine wish list box that you can see things pop them in and just buy them when you want to buy them. So we had to change the name, so they're called Facebook Lives must-haves. And um, anybody who doesn't know us, you just go to our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, and then on the home page, there's a big box. There's a little tab at the top. There's loads of places. But anyhow, I think Laura's got a phone ready now. Yep, we're all up on running. And we're on YouTube as well, aren't we? We are on oh. YouTube as well. You know, we always yeah. forget. We're, we're not always on YouTube every week. <laughs> and sometimes we can connect, sometimes we can't. So sometimes we have to upload the video for YouTube next week, but we're flying live with YouTube. We are, we are. Okay, so hello YouTubers, hello Facebookers. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've we've got... say that, Amy. No, yeah. Facebookers and YouTubers. Yes. So we've got a brilliant audience builds on up. We've got over 250 watching on Facebook at the moment and we're still growing. I know it takes a few minutes for everyone to join in and remember that we're on, get their notification and everything like that. So hi everyone and thanks for joining us. If we've got anyone that's new to the Sugar and Crumbs Facebook Lives, say hi, introduce yourself, let us know where you found us. Um, if you've got any questions that are relevant to tonight's live, just pop them in the comments. Um, just please be aware that the feed moves really, really quickly. So we do sometimes miss something. Um, if we've got a chance, we'll come back to you. Or if not, we'll answer everything in the week for you that we've not missed. Um, so as Carol said, you can head over to the Sugar and Crumbs website, which is sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, if there's anything that you're interested in purchasing from us tonight. And alternatively, we've popped a link on for Amy's website as well, just to make it a bit easier. So you can pop over to 
to Amy's page when we're finished as well. Um, if you can't stay for the whole live this evening, we will pin the whole Facebook page, Facebook live to the top of the page when we're finished. Um, and it will also get transferred to YouTube as well. So um, you I won't miss now, anything. Because we're live on YouTube tonight. Yeah, but we will, <laughs> the video when we're finished yeah. will be on there as well, won't it? So um, as always, Maria's in the kitchen, um, hovering around Amy's shoulder. <laughs> um, Maria this is a will new be... experience. I know. I she like, she um, should call her the hoverer. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you're not aware, Maria makes um, these brilliant one-minute videos that get put onto Facebook and YouTube. So it's all the really important bits squished into a one-minute video, and they're just really good for you to recap at any point. Um, so head over there when we're finished. All of our previous Facebook Lives are on there as well. So if you want to recap on anything, any of the previous Lives that we've done, any other tutors that we've had on, um, feel free to head over and have a nosy. Super. So it's quite an intense flower that she's actually making tonight. So many of you have asked us for sugar craft skills. And, you know, we get people on with cutters and, you know, Marion's absolutely excellent. Carol Haycox is excellent. Mount Natalie Porter is excellent. They're all really very, very good. And we try and show you as many things as we can. And we tend to make things a little bit smaller as well because, you know, some things need quite a long time. So just before the live, which is why we were late, I was busy cutting out petals, having <laughs> <laughs> really to count petals. how many. <laughs> I've actually made myself dizzy and then we've spotted that we were running late. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let um, Amy get on and tell you what she's making, show you how she's making, and I'm over here, not over there. So Laura's gonna be looking after comments for a while because I'm your assistant, aren't I? You mm -hmm. are. Not that you'll see me much because I'm too busy <laughs> rolling out sugar paste and cutting things. So should I get off and you get going? Yep, same that Super. I that man. Right, Laura, I'm going to leave you to look after no Amy. Uh, Amy. <laughs> Amy. <laughs> um, is this what we're rolling out? Yes, it is. Super. Yes, it is. Can you remember how many I needed? It was large. Yeah, it was nine of the large. Right. So, Dahlia. Dahlia. <laughs> There's quite a lot of petals goes into the Dahlia. We've got, here is our centre of our flower. And then we've got we're inner layers here, middle layers, outer layers. Now, this kind of flower takes a lot of time, but if you take your time doing it, it's really worth it because it comes out really, really nice. Yeah. Um, with this, I'm using this Squire's Kitchen, I think it's called the All Veined Lily. I've probably got that round the wrong way because that's <laughs> normally how I work. Um, these are available at Sugar and Cums, aren't they? Yeah, they are, but they've not arrived yet, so they're not on the website, but okay. they will be able to get them later on in the week. Ah, okay. So you can get these at Sugar and Crumbs. I do have a small yeah, stock of them as well. Yeah, buy some of you they yeah, buying yeah. Of you. I don't have a lot, of, I don't carry a big stock of them, but I do have them. So we are going to start. So we are going to start by having our little central ball here, which is a 25ml ball. Nice and small. Poly balls, I always use poly balls because it keeps the flower, uh, the flower nice and light. If you you can make a center using paste, but um, it makes it heavy and then it can drag down inside your cake, which is near use. Here I've got a 22 gauge wire, a culprit wire. Um, ideally I would use a 20, but it's 22 today, so that is what it is. So what we're doing is we're just threading this wire right through the center of the poly ball. Okay, we're just gonna take it right into the center there. We're gonna take it and we're gonna twist it. We're gonna twist it all the way down. So what this does is this secures the wire. So you get some people that hot glue cocktail sticks mm -hmm. in, hot glue wires in. Yeah. You ain't got no time for that. <laughs> so this is how I do it. And it's nice and secure. Also, if you do it, make sure that it's tight. You can see how tight that wire is there at the yeah. ball. If you've got a big gap, you get floppy flower syndrome, which is never good. Because <laughs> once you've got all that paste on, it'll start wobbling about. Yeah. And then you're just damaging your flower, obviously. I'm just going to put this excess off. So, Carol is going to cut some petals out for me. Do you need the large ones first? Um, or the small ones? I'm, I won't even be using them yet. I'm going to use the centre bit. Right. I'm going to give you that. Is that what we're doing? Right. Yeah, you'll need nine of them. <laughs> so, is, this, is it soft enough or do I need to make it a bit softer? Right. Don't be shy in your tricks. 
So today we're colouring it um, a, a vintagey kind of pink colour. So we're using some of the Colour Splash colours. So we've got pale pink and the tiniest little bit of dark brown. So the pale pink on its own is a really nice pastel kind of shade, but if you add the dark brown, it makes it nice and vintagey. I'm just going to take some of this. I know, that's really lovely to know, isn't it? Yeah, you can use that, that with any colour. Yeah. Laura walked in tonight and went, wow. I know. And I'm going, yeah, wow, that's, it's just that pale pink. <laughs> well, and he was like, like, no, no. <laughs> no, it's not. No. <laughs> but these are all the little hints and tips that people love because yeah. you, you would try to achieve that pink, yeah. and I would yeah. probably end up adding a little bit of lilac or something thinking yeah. that that's how you've achieved that colour. Yeah. Never imagine that you've added dark brown to yeah. it. Yeah. So like if I'm making like, um, obviously when I'm making roses and stuff and you've got brides and they've got like a vintagey kind of bouquet, like the amnesia roses yeah. are like a lilac-y kind of colour. It's a weird kind oh, of colour. Yeah. But like I say, you use like the lilac and add a little brown and it gives you the perfect shade for it. Just Amazing. A t it's just the tiniest little yeah. bit of brown ever. So we're just going to make so what we're going to do is a little bit pink. This is what happens. It doesn't come out, and then I so you get the massive ball. Yeah. <laughs> like, Oops. So I'll just do the pink first, just to make sure it's done. So Amy's using the Colour Splash Colour Gels this evening. Um, it's a personal preference if you've got a different brand, then that's absolutely fine. Um, as you know, we sell a number of different brands of gels. Um, so it's, it's totally up to you what you use. It's just, a, it's just a personal preference. And again, the colour, you're not going to get an exact match because of the different amounts that mm -hmm. will vary depending on how much um, flower paste that you're making how much you colour you're popping but you know that's all down to personal choice so don't be sort of too hung up on getting this shade in particular as long as you're happy with what you've got that's the most important thing i like experimenting the colours yeah, absolutely yeah for sure you just confirm me after that bit myself yeah. then ask Right, and is it only nine or are yeah. you going to do what you did to me last time? No, it is only nine. Cut seven. She oh. to cut seven. Then she said, no, six more. <laughs> and she went, now nine. <laughs> she got them all in. <laughs> oh, I had to do seven before, and I'm like, I'm just running like an idiot. <laughs> How many of these running? Yeah. I forgot already. Sorry. How many? Nine. 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 <laughs> Sorry. Well, it says seven. Everyone knows you need nine. <laughs> I, know, I can't remember anything. So much so wrong with me. I can't remember anything. <laughs> so you can see that this is a nice, like a candy pink, and I'm literally adding the tiniest little bit of brown in there. Tiny. Yeah. So we we actually stock the whole range of the colour splash gels. We've got them in a couple of different bundles. Or you can buy them individually as well on the website. So if you're interested in any of the colours, just head over to the website when we're finished um, and shop for your life. Yeah, yeah you can buy a discount bundle of all 30. Yeah, as well. that's a good idea. Mm. You can just see that that's changing. Yeah, it just t changes the tone of it, doesn't it? It's yeah. fantastic. Does our audience grow nicely, Laura? Um, yeah, we're over 400 mm -hmm. watching at the moment. Really? It's fantastic. Yeah, please. Yeah. Okay. How many of these am I doing? <laughs> Stop it. No, 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 did it. <laughs> how, how many I do you think? How many have I got there? <laughs> seven. Go on, how many do you think? Well, it's either seven or nine. Nine! nine. <laughs> yeah. oh, so it's been a long day. <laughs> The time. <laughs> Amy's been scrapping with people at the airport with a oh, suitcase. I'm not. Yeah. People at the airport, she gets to the airport with a hand luggage. They decide to ping her 35 quid because it doesn't quite go in the thing. Oh no. I get a beating up of a guy at the airport who chases me <laughs> oh, around because I'm picking God. Amy up. I'm picking Amy up. I completely forget that I've actually phoned her. So it's now, she's put a phone in her pocket. I'm now speaking to myself on Echo. <laughs> and he doesn't know where to go. The guy's screaming at her to get out of the way and to move, go somewhere else. He's screaming at me, you're going to get charged under a pound. Oh my God. Yeah, me he, was today. On, he was on a mission, that guy, wasn't he? he yeah. Was and the, the saddest thing is I've never met Amy in my life. And oh, there's all this no. chaos going on. 
Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was a bit of what an a start. eventful morning. So it was. What a start. That airport's just mad. It's all changed at Manchester yeah. Airport. Though. Where have you been there last? Oh. Well, the thing is, oh. I... Wait a minute, right, just to let you know. <laughs> oh! Oh, <laughs> Thursday, I told you. Was it Thursday? When was you in Amsterdam? Was it last I've week? I've never been to Amsterdam. Right, well, anyhow, whenever I told you that Laura went to Amsterdam, she didn't go to Amsterdam. She actually went to a theme park in London. I don't know where I got Amsterdam from. I've I don't know why I thought she was. But was, was it, was it, when was you not here? Monday. Monday. So when she went here last Monday, she wasn't enjoying herself in Amsterdam. I got myself completely confused. Honestly, I got back. I watched, I, I was only able to watch a little bit of the live in the car. I couldn't listen because my sister was driving and it was really late at night, so I didn't want to distract her. And um, so I saw a little <laughs> tiny bit. I got in work on Tuesday and Karen said to me, where did you go at the weekend? I went um, to a theme park. She went, in Amsterdam. I went, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was so confused. <laughs> Do, I, do you need me to be assistant any longer? No. Oh, great. <laughs> You're done. You're I'll just messed. Okay, good idea. Do you want one? Yes, please. Thank you very much. So, um, when you're doing your flowers, I can't stress enough to you that you must roll your paste really, really thin because if you have thick paste, the flowers never look delicate, they don't look nice. So, you can see that you can almost see my fingers yeah. through there. That is perfect. Top tip. Um, when you are rolling out your paste, if you just have a small ball paste, put the rest away in your packet because you're more inclined to roll it out thinner yeah. if you've got a small, a small ball. amount. Makes sense. Totally. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the centre and we are just going to cut out four of these. So anyone that owns a set of my cutters you should know that they're quite sharp you do not need to be pushing really hard you just need to put a little bit of weight and just work it around and just get it out that way because you'll end up absolutely ruining the cutters and ruining the shape of them if you do that yeah which is never good i need another little paintbrush just to get this out so i just flick out the paintbrush it's the easiest way put it to the side So tonight Amy is using the Squires flower paste. Um, Amy's preference is to use white and to colour it herself. Um, Squires do sell a variety of colours um, that we also sell as well in different size packs. Um, so again, that's down to you. If you've got a preference over flower paste for this particular brand that you use, absolutely fine. Um, but Squires is very well known. It's a, a fantastic reputation. Um, and is used by the majority of, of people we have on the live if they're making flowers, for example. So Yeah, it um, dries quickly. Yes, yeah. It's it, lovely to work with. It's definitely my go-to paste. For sure. So, so what we're then going to do is I'm just put this in the packet. take these and we're going to thin the edges slightly and we're going to cut them in half. I won't cut on Carol's bean board because I know she doesn't like that. I think I'm beginning to lose the will over the green board. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to have a, have a special one for cutting. There you go, no cup of tea. Lovely, thank you very much. Well, I'll just put this I'm really not that precious about my boards at home, to be fair. I'm just like, yeah, hey, boards a board. No, my son says that. He says, well, it's meant to be chopped on. I'm like, no. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Where did the, uh, the cutting knife go? I didn't see it. The which one? The knife. The little, the yellow one. Yes. Oh, the yellow one, just down there. Good so someone's asked me a question. How do you stop it sticking? Stop what sticking? I'm assuming they mean the flower paste to the board. Oh, well, these are non-stick boards, yeah. so it shouldn't stick. But I do, although these are non-stick, I also use corn flour. Right, okay. I always use corn flour. 
So what we're going to do now is we're only going to thin it out a little bit. So it's literally just the first little half inch in using your ball tool. And the reason we don't go all the way down is because this bit here is going to be stuck to the poly ball. So you don't need to waste your time going all the way down. So when you come to cut these, because we're going to be cutting these in half, you need to make sure that your blade on your knife is like super sharp. You don't want any rough blades, otherwise you'll tear your petals. But if you tear them, it doesn't really matter. Whack it on anyway, no one's going to notice. <laughs> <laughs> it's because my phone's used to filming you. Yeah. And I'm watching on the small ad word, uh, on the more small ad word, on the small password, on the small, oh, I can't even get my phone out on the small password. You don't on, the, on the small iPad. And I don't know what, I don't, I don't know what my password is to get it on Facebook. I don't suppose you know my Facebook, my Facebook password, right? Hey. Not to the whole audience. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's not say yeah. that out loud. That could be a bit disastrous. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we're going to go round these petals and we're going to split them in half with this blade. So I'm not going to go in and cut it and pull back because then you risk it, the run the risk of pulling that off all together. So if you just yeah. place your finger on the edge of the petal and just push down so it goes all the way through, that's all it needs to be. Right. Okay. If you pull it. It, yeah, it's going to drag and... Oh, yeah. yeah. It, I mean, it, it doesn't totally matter if you leave petals, but it's good to have them all there, yeah. do you know what I mean? That one's a little bit stupid, but that's fine. So I've got a couple of people asking, are you going to see I? I sure am. I'm there... Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm not there for long on the Sunday though because my flight's at like 12 o'clock. But I'm there, yeah. I will be bopping about. Mm -hmm. Well, make sure you bop about past our stand. We'd love to yeah, see you. So yeah, we're at Cake International as well. And just to shout out, I'm actually on the, st on the stage at... I can't remember. Oh, for God's <laughs> sake. We are rubbish. On the Friday, I'm on the stage. I think I'm on the stage at half past ten on the main stage, I think. But it might not be. I might be on another one. Wherever <laughs> Jackie oh wherever God, Jackie God. Kelly is, Jackie Kelly is first and she is hosting the stage for the day and I'm her guest. <laughs> wherever that's and I've God knows what I've been doing, doing where I am, or whatever. It's it's been a busy few weeks and it's Still another busy few weeks to go. We are honestly all losing the plot. We've had people on annual leave. Then I've had a day off. Yin's had some time off. Karen's been off. I'm and not I think well. Carol's not been very well. And we're still preparing for the show. And it's just everything is everywhere. And yeah. it's a bit of a whirlwind October, November. Um, and then you just get over the show and you've got Christmas to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I can't get on here. Where can I read some comments? Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's all oh, um, reach there. The end of the year is always like super busy for me. Yeah. It's like mad. It always seems to be so much on, so many events to go to and yeah. stuff to remember. It's just crazy when you're doing two shows together. Yeah. yeah. And then you've got a load of other stuff to do and then I don't know. No, it I'm just it's too old. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh, Zoe Quacker. Qua you say it. Yeah. Qua -ca. Yeah. Qua -ca. Single handed yeah. creations is going to pop by and see us. Very good. I'm not making excuses. Karen Naylor says, Laura, stop making excuses. <laughs> I know we're, we're like this every week, to be fair. There is no excuse. <laughs> 
<laughs> but tonight's been particularly bad. <laughs> Even I've been getting stuff wrong. What's your name, Laura? <laughs> <laughs> No, <coughs> you just get days like that though, don't you? Yeah. So sometimes I wonder how I get through my life on a daily basis, honestly. It's just <laughs> like... But yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue in these now. Oh, we're just under 500 people. Wow. So that's good. Brilliant audience. Okay. So Jeanette says, where are you, in, where are you from in Scotland? I'm from a little town called Torriff, which is about 50 minutes from north of Aberdeen. It's basically out in the sticks. My neighbour just cows. Ah. No. I live in a farm. Oh dear, yeah. Yeah. John comes from, comes from off a farm as well. Oh, it, it's bad at the minute. Well, just the other day there, the cheek of the little baby cows away from the Oh, don't tell me. Yeah. I know. So it's like, oh, the whole we, night. We have the same thing whenever we go over to visit the family because they're on a farm and you get there and all the cows are mooing at you and yeah. staring at you and then, then they swap out over and it's all the sheep and <laughs> and then when the baby lambs go and I'm like, oh no. Oh no, I love the lambs. Yeah. Okay, so I've put some glue on these. Obviously, I'm going to move this glue over here because I'll probably add more glue to this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to stab this through the centre of one of them. So we'll just pick it up. This is when I become all fingers and thumbs. Okay, so it's right through the centre. So Samantha Rollins mustn't be far from you because she says hi from Turriff. Yeah. Yeah? Because Samantha's saying, Carol, send Amy back with some icing sugar. <laughs> <laughs> I would you're, love to. You're definitely getting charged for your luggage <laughs> then. I, know. I would love to, but she's going to have enough troubles getting her bag on the plane tomorrow. Oh, no. um, but we're not going by the warehouse tomorrow because we've been today. Mm -hmm. So, Right, so <clears> as you can see, this bits have not got paste on, so I'm just going to add some paste to the poly ball. So the objective here is to slide these up to cover up the poly bowl now there's a couple of bits just come off this is what happens sometimes if it comes off you just whack it back, on. It back on nobody knows you don't yeah. see this bit right so a few people are just asking you what's the white foamy bit on your brush this is very technical this is <laughs> aye this is <laughs> this is a wee bit of a foam pad that i've cut up don't tell them that. We need to tell them how much it is. Right, start putting up the foam, Laura. <laughs> Laura, we're, we're skint. Start foaming up. Start so so up basically, it, is a, it was one of these kind of pads. And I've cut it in a, a, a wee square. I think that's an excellent idea. Yeah. And then it just stops your glue brush from hitting your board and yeah. making everything sticky. Yeah. Excellent idea. Top tip there from Amy. There you go. A little bit of foam and stick your brush through it. So hopefully you can see that. Samantha, you cannot have run out a couple of flavours. She must was it Samantha who had five hundred delivered to her the other week? Oh no, not five hundred. Was it? Did, what was it? Five boxes? A couple hundred. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know what she does with them. So this is the poly ball with the first one on. You can see that you can't see the poly ball and it's also nice and fluffy at the top. You don't want to stick it down and have it flat. flat. Yeah. We like fluffy. <clears throat> pink and fluffy. So we're then just going to do again the same with the next one. Slide it on. Now I slide it on and it leaves a big hole at the bottom but that's fine it lets me work it up no one's going to see that bottom bit anyway. Well they're all loving it that we've got a Scottish lady in the kitchen. Are they? Yeah <laughs> Lynn Wacker from a Glaswegian living in London loves hearing a Scottish accent on her favourite FB Companies Live program. Oh, oh, oh that's nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Good morning, good afternoon, Elaine. I was just about to say good morning. Um, yeah, we've got a great audience. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <clears throat> And here's me thinking that you were going to need a translator. Oh, no. uh, Samantha, just send me a message, will you? And then I'll sort it out. Um, John's going down to the warehouse, so I'll get him to pick some bags of sugar up. Just send me a message. John will be in the warehouse in the morning. And then, have you got space in your case? That I haven't. How many does she need, like? <laughs> How many do you need? Because she's only got a little case that she's been charged drop, to like five Drop or... a private message to Carol, yeah. Yeah. Samantha, and then we'll message her back once we've yeah. done the live. Did my parcel get sent? Yes. Oh, right, okay. Yours so is gone. Don't put any of that. I know, it went today right. though. Oh, gone. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the neon colours were still waiting for stock. The Rapid Rose Pad is on its way to us. We're just waiting for that to arrive. I think it's arriving tomorrow. A Rapid Rose Pad? What's that? Nestle Quarters. 
Natalie Porter's range. Rapid Rose. Oh, for making quick roses mm -hmm. in here. Yeah. Okay. I see. So again, we're just building this up, stretching it out. Right. Celia said she can hardly hear what's being said. I don't think anyone else is having a problem. Though. No, maybe turn the volume up on your phone. Yeah. I think sometimes Facebook just does that for certain areas, yeah. doesn't mm. it? It plays up a little bit. Yeah, because the microphone's very much yeah, it's, it's near fine. you. No one else has said anything, no. and they would if, if we had a problem. Yeah. yeah. So you can see this is starting to make that little bit fluffier now. Yeah. It's beautiful. I like fluffy. I think it doesn't stick just a little bit of green. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. This last one on. So it is a little bit fiddly picking these up when they've got glue on, but if you just take your time, yeah, you'll manage. So Ian has asked if I'm feeling better. I am feeling much better. I still have problems in the morning. Um, getting myself up and about, not because I'm being lazy, mm -hmm. I mean just sorting my lungs out. Mm -hmm. And as I've said to you all previously, I've never smoked a, smoked a cigarette in my life, but I do suffer with asthma. And um, I have got a viral infection that just does not seem to be going away, but I tend to have it for the winter once I get it. Not good. That's looking gorgeous. Uh, Anna Rourke, she says she's been using your cutters um, for about an hour and she, she's loved the idea that she's going to learn how to use it properly tonight. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So, I'm just going to split them up a little bit. Are you selling your cutters at CI, by the way? Are you taking um, them with you or are you just doing a demo if, there? Um, I'm not even demoing with my cutters. Mm. But if, um, if anybody wants to pre order, if anybody wants to pre order, then I can bring down with me. Yeah. That's not an issue, and then I'll save you on the postage. Well, it depends whether they're there the day you are. Which day are you there? I'm there all three days. Oh, are you? Yeah. All oh, right. Oh, okay then. Goody good. I don't know what I'll be doing all the three days. I'll probably just be hanging about like a bass now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Get on our stand. We're finding plenty for you to do. <laughs> <laughs> so. That is your first layer done. So that is your four of your inner petal, which is this one. So we're going to put that to the side. That was great, did not it? Can get the uh, little hanging thing, the FMM hanging thing. So this is for sale at Sugar and Cams. This is the little hanging jobby, I call it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Otherwise known as the flower drying stand. <laughs> <laughs> Well done, Just Laura. for anyone that tries to search on the website <laughs> for a hanging jobby. <laughs> jobby. <laughs> uh, Carol, I can't stuff. find that hanging jobby. What's one of them? Well, Amy said you saw them. Hanging jobbies. Because we don't want anything floppy. <laughs> That's funny. I've got all my funny wee names for things. <clears throat> okay, so this is the smallest petal cutter. And Carol has kindly cut them all out for me. Yeah, I'm exhausted. <laughs> <laughs> so the first layer, which is going to be on the inside, well, of the actual uh, individual petals, you're going to take seven of these small ones. So we're just going to get these out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just to the side. And if you're wondering what these are, these are called Stay Fresh Mats. Um, you only get them in singles, because ideally you just need to put them on a board and they stay fresh over the top. It's quite a heavy sheet of plastic, but it keeps everything nice and fresh. We've actually put two together just because yeah, we have to make so well. many. Mm. Do you, do you? I, I bought two yeah. of them because I prefer yeah. them to stick it's together. Just, but yeah. Yeah. I prefer two, but yeah. I don't want people to think they get two in a pack. They oh, are right. individual. So uh, I don't want to misunderstand. Yeah, I'm start messaging me going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, you buy them one at a time, and you can either put them on the board and put the clear stay fresh mat on top, or you can actually buy two and then you can move them around, which is what we're doing. Yeah, That's it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we've got our saving petals of the first size. We're just going to use a ball tool, so you're half on the paste. Um, half on the foam pad and you're going to thin these out and they'll go like that little fish things that you used to get in the crackers remember them oh, yes. 
<laughs> so just let me answer a couple of questions. A few people have asked me, am I stocking the cutters? I'm not stocking the cutters. I, I can't explain, I'm gonna explain it. Amy is a small company. She's trying to do the best price she can. If she sells them to me, one, I've got to put, I've got to make a little bit of profit. I've then got to add the V account for the VAT and it's just going to basically price them that, to a point that it's not worth it. So what we're doing is we're just actually pushing you Amy's way, which is wedding, what was the website <laughs> called? <laughs> yeah, so wait, we pinned it to the post anyhow. So after the live, go back to the post it's pinned there. It's got a link. It'll tell you, it'll tell you about it. You can buy all the cutters off Amy. Um, I haven't got the Squire's veining pad in yet, but you can buy that off her. She's got a couple available. I'll have them in next week. And then um, everything else you can buy from us, which would be great. Yeah. Payday this week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do your shopping, girls. <laughs> hmm. And uh, we've got a lady who can't hear us very well. The only thing I can say is sometimes is that maybe you might need to put some earphones in. And thank you, Robert Allen. Um, there he says, but sometimes you can hear Laura and Carol eating. You're <gasps> never eating though, are you? It's always no. me. No. I know. I never pick. I'm try I try to be so good. But I've been out for my tea tonight. I took Amy to Nando, so we're all oh, fine. Fine and dandy. Halloumi. Oh, stop <laughs> it. We're jealous now. Look at me and Maria. Like, oh. <laughs> how much how much halloumi did we eat when we all went there? Oh my god, we, we had about three ten portions. Yeah, there no, we so had three portions three each. Four, yeah. yeah, we had loads. We were Lovely. waiting for John and the boys to arrive from the warehouse and the girls arrived at Nando's first and we must have had three or four portions each <laughs> of a loom. I would have just been up and walked out after that. So, I mean, I in in the end, we told the guy he had to start giving it as free. <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm doing now is I'm just veining. Um, this is the Lily veiner, but I use this veiner on loads of different petals. I absolutely love it because it creates such a good impression. So Jessica, that. the video will be pinned to the top of our page, so come back and watch it when you can. I know you have to go right now, but don't worry, and it's going to be there till Monday. It will also be on YouTube. So I'm just looking at the YouTube comments, uh, and somebody just put up on, they can't find us on Facebook. You need to go to our page. Uh, we have two. We have two places that you can find us: sugar and crumbs, sugar and crumbs with nifty nozzles, not and nifty nozzles. That's our page. That's where we do our lives from. Uh, we don't do lives in the group, so don't go to the all about cake community. Go to our page, which is sugar and crumbs with nifty nozzles. No. Okay. Lots of people watching on YouTube as well, mm -hmm. which okay. is very good. Ah. Um. So what we're going to do is we're going to just put a little bit of glue, just basically a little dot right in the centre of each petal, and then we're going to fold them in on themselves. So I'm just finding the pointiest edges, which is there. Okay, so it really is just a tiny little dot of glue, not too much. So Linda Miles is just saying, all the work that goes into one flower how much roughly would you charge per one of these flowers? Yeah, but for the dahlias, um, it wouldn't charge any less than 30. Yeah, They'd take away I think it's fair enough, yeah. yeah. So I'm just folding this over, just like so. Hopefully you can see that okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is important that you fold them over. It doesn't matter if you scrunch it in the centres because that gets attached, you don't see it anyway. And how big is this flower going to be, roughly? Oh, it's going to be big? Yeah, it's a big one. Oh, you like big things. <laughs> I do like big things, yes. <laughs> Should have seen how big our dinner was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, the medium green board, Carol, I'll have back in stock. I will have it back in stock, hopefully, on Monday or Tuesday. Okay, so rather than um, gluing these petals, but it's absolutely pointless, what we're going to do is we're going to stick the glue on the bottom of the flower base here. So when I'm putting this flower together, I'm basically doing it upside down, 
because it just it's easier that way. Okay, so just a little bit of glue. Um, Teresa, the Stay Fresh mats aren't like wallets. They are actually really very, very thick. So while you're doing that, Amy, let me just show them how thick this is. Yeah. Because sometimes people think that they are like a wallet and yeah, it's a not. different thing, isn't it? I don't know whether you can actually sort of see the thickness yeah. on that. Yeah. So they're really thick and they're heavy. So they, when they lie on top, they don't yeah. sort of blow up yeah. or float off anywhere. Yeah. And, and they will keep everything nice mm. and perfect. So you only get one in the packet. Um, as Amy said, she's bought two because she wants to sit one on top of the other and move it around. But um, I just put them straight onto, onto the worktop, if I'm honest, and then sit them on top. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm doing now is this pointy bit here, that is the upside of your flower. So you're just going to... This little taily bits are going to touch the back here of your wire. So you're going to leave a good gap in between them all. Uh, Angela, um, Amy said the minimum she would charge for this flower is £30. June, they are repeated all of you. So I asked Amy how much would she charge for this particular flower and the minimum she would charge is £30. Uh, Amy, it's not me they're complaining about. They know that I've got a big gob. It's you. You're very quiet. Oh. Can you speak louder? Oh. <laughs> no one's ever said that to me before. <laughs> yeah. This, uh, Rachel's put it very nicely. Amy's voice is quite quiet. Oh. I can hear Carol. Fine. Okay. So I'll need to speak louder. <laughs> right. So that is the basic start. So obviously we're going to do our next slot and it's, they're going to slot in between this ones that you've done here. So you want to keep this hanging upside down, otherwise these will just yeah. flop, which is never good. So I'll just get there. So just let you all know, when we go to Cake International, we don't take any of our shop with us. The only thing that we take with us is our flavoured icing sugars and our Russian piping tips. We take um, we take a few um, other tips, Wilton tips, and we take some piping bags but we just can't take the shop to the stand. Um, if you want a shop at the show, then you must pop over to Vanilla Valley because they have a massive big aisle of stuff. But having said that, I don't know whether they would have these there. Um, but it, otherwise, you'd just have to buy them off the, off the website. So we've got six of the same sized petals again. So we're just going to do the same as before. One thing we're doing in this kind of flower is it's really repetitive. And Nicole Brown says it's not like you to be quiet, Amy. I know. I know, but they're all saying you're quiet, Amy, so you are going to speak up a I lot louder. I will speak as loud as I possibly can. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So again, you've got six petals. We're just going to thin them slightly, vein them, roll them, apply them. Thank goodness you cut all of these out. Oh, I'm so glad we did. <laughs> Could have been a long night. A very long night. Yeah. It's really funny when Amy asked me to cut these out, because I think at first, oh, in fact, I don't know how many asked me to cut out first. Where's I your lost. list? My list is <laughs> over the list. There. So um, on the list, how many do you think you asked me for the first time? Um, I asked you for seven, I think, wasn't it? Seven. So there I was, very chuffed at myself, doing seven. And then she said, I do know the next row was six. Yeah. Yeah. And the next row was nine. Yeah. And what was the next row? I done the next rows. Oh, you did the next row. And How then many was you that? Got, uh, I think it was seven. I think. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was twelve, fifteen, and then I asked you to do nine. I think. Of the large ones. Five. Didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the never end and supply My petals. <laughs> <laughs> you can't rush a no. pretty flower. That's for sure. So our warehouse is not open to the public apart from on our open days. So let's just, while Amy's just doing a few of these, let's tell you about our open days. We have an open day once a month. The next one is on the 9th of November. We've actually got Molly Robbins in. So there's two ways. You can actually just come along to the warehouse and do your shopping. Or you can actually pop along and come to our demonstration morning. We're also doing a demonstration afternoon. Molly Robbins is actually um, doing the demos. We're actually doing a morning 
Um, but we sold out. We had so many people who wanted to go on it. We've now booked an afternoon session. She is actually doing two different tutorials as well because we want Maria to film them all and get as many things as she can. Look how cheerful <laughs> Maria is. It just falls very badly. Her mother's home for the weekend. <laughs> so, so we're dragging Maria's mother to the tutorial. <laughs> So, um, the tutorials are £10. There is availability for the afternoon, but I don't think there's many. Not much at all. But then, after the tutorial, you can go in the warehouse. But anybody who wants to just go shopping in the warehouse on Saturday the night, feel free to bob along um, from half past nine onwards. It's east. It's like is there someone a key be even. <laughs> John will be there. I yeah. the box. Yeah, stuff. John will be there. He'll be, he'll be sure to oh, lovingly love look it. after you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Amy had a great time in our warehouse today. I only took her down for five minutes. Oh, no. <laughs> I was like, yes, I like that. I'll try that. And Paula Brown loves your eyelashes, Amy. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so does Angela, but Angie Babry. Ooh. I'm trying to keep it all glam. We've been on since like half past four this morning, so mm. we're doing not too bad. And Carol Shields received her icing sugars today. She can't wait to try them. Ooh. Can't believe you've not tasted them before. Oh, I have got some news. Mmm. We might have cracked the cream cheese. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so, making promises, Carol. I know, but it doesn't smell this one, does it? No. I feel it. So I feel it in my bones that we might have cracked the cream cheese. So over the weekend, I am going to continue playing with the cream cheese flavour. And if it is fine, I'm actually going to pop it into little sample pots and take it to CI for you to taste. So you can test it, let us know what yeah. you think. And then like if that. everybody likes it, we will make it. That would be a game changer for me because I use that um, Loran flavoured oh, You know that Loran flavours, right? Yeah. It stinks, doesn't it? Yeah. You can't breathe with it, can it you? It doesn't smell like cream cheese neither. No. Well, we have the same smell for our cream cheese and it's killed me and Laura. Me and Laura spent all summer trying to make it. I've been trying to make cream cheese now for about three years. <laughs> I've not been successful, but I feel that we've got a breakthrough. So what I'm doing now is I'm just sticking the six petals on in between the gaps here of the first layer. Right, okay, so Jane has asked me, can you do the typing, Laura? Can you do the, so on the layer of petals, can you tell us for the first layer? How many? Yeah. So Jane is deaf. So she said, can someone type in how many single petals? So it's, well, the centre one was. Yeah, the centre one's four. So the centre one is four of the big cutter. Yes, this one. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Jane, okay. the big round cutter, there's, there's the centre one, there's four say, of yeah. those. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give you that, Rick. Yeah. Oh, they are. There's you, the you book. Mean there you go. Perfect. <laughs> and then, there we go. So I've got a little Bible because I have... Can you not take a, a picture of that? Peter Heed. Yeah, you can take a picture of it. That'd be easy. Why not take right. a picture of it? Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. So oh. should we take a picture of both pages? No, that's just... That's a different flower. That's a different one. That's oh, all my right. flowers in that book. That's just my bullet points. God, I'm glad you didn't ask me to do it. You'd have got a picture of God knows what there. <laughs> right. Oh, great. We'll do a picture of it. That'd be great. Okay, so layer number three. <laughs> 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 so this is the same size petal cutter again. Aren't you so pleased we cut them all, oh, ladies yeah. and gents? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'd have been here till, like, say, what, one? <laughs> so we've got five, six, seven. We've got nine. And again, we're just going to do the same as what we've done the last time. We're going to thin the edges, we're going to bean, and we're going to roll. As I said, it's really repetitive, but it looks amazing once it's done. So they've been posted out to you. I think I spoke to you yesterday after the courier. I can't remember. If they did, they've been posted out today. If it was the day before I spoke to you, they were posted out yesterday. Chocolate drips. Yeah. That chocolate drips are a game changer, mm. aren't they? They're really. And we're not doing the Prosecco anymore. We stopped doing it simply because we had very mixed reviews on it. I actually love it, but some people didn't like it. And um, But I have got another Prosecco to try. Do you want the other picture of the pints? 
It won't let you add a picture to the comments. Oh, yeah. oh is it? Oh, hang on. Let's get another one. Think. Anyone falling asleep yet? <laughs> no, no. We're all here still. <laughs> So I hope, you I hope you're enjoying this live. I know you're seeing a, a lot of Amy's hands working and not seeing a lot of Amy. We're just focused on the board. Yeah. 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 Are, we, are we not popping up every now and again yeah. to see her face? So, <laughs> see her I don't mind if you just something. I don't mind if you're just seeing my hands because to be fair, that's what you need to see. That's important. But you don't need to see my mug there. So, um, I off in case someone misses something. Yeah. <laughs> so, the question is if you didn't have the veiner, could you use a Dresden to mark the petals? That's quite a good question. Yeah, I mean, you could do if you wanted. It would take you a lot longer um, and it might misshape the petals. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. if by pulling it, it might misshape them a, bit, a little bit. But I mean, it's anything's worth a try, isn't it? I can't say I've used a Dresden for it, but. Go for it. Or even you can also create your own mold. Yeah. The ah, pattern. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Um, that's with the um, plastic. Yeah, yeah. You could make your own molds with the plastic. Um, right. Okay. So Vicky Payne, uh, Vicky Pine is asking. Apart from tonight, where you're doing everything to cram everything into two hours, Amy, um, would you dry each layer out first before carrying out the next layer? Not really. No. Because, to be honest, because there's so many petals involved with this flower, by the time you get them all thinned um, and veined and rolled, that layer that you've just previously done is halfway to being dry, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it is quite warm in here as well, which does actually help. I do like a warm room when I'm doing flowers. It is warm in here, actually, yeah, it's isn't lovely. it? Yeah. It's ideal flower making for me. Uh, Sarah Mosley, oh my god, what for? Somebody's excited. Is that the cream cheese? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I hope so. Is it really hard to try and get it right then? It's the smell. Okay. We can get the taste. The taste is beautiful. But the smell... The thing is, when Laura and I make it, or when I've tried to make it on my own, the smell kills me on my own in small bitch batches. Is it really strong? Yes. Yeah. Oh, so what we have to think about is the production, lads, yeah. that when we have to ask them to put in enough for 200 bags at a time, yeah. bear in mind we've just got a new blender that will do 500 bags at a time, okay. the amount of flavouring we would have to put out, I would almost think the whole of Stockport oh, would see. think a nuclear bomb Absolutely. had gone off. <laughs> Horrendous. Or some big fat skunk had just gone past yeah. and done it something was... terrible in Stockport. Awful. Yeah, it's when, so bad. Amy, will you just let me know when you finish that row, and yeah. I'm just going to pop the notebook under that camera. Yeah, if that's for all sure. right, because it won't let me add a, a picture. Oh, okay, yeah, that's yeah. Fine. No bother. So we're just folding this in half. So for all you guys in a minute who want to know the actual amount of petals that we're using, Laura's taken a picture, but it won't let us post the picture at the moment. So make sure you're there with your phone in a minute because. Um, you can take a, a screenshot of what Laura's going to put up in the camera. So we'll keep it there for 10 seconds, which gives you plenty of time. I'll give you a warning just before we're going to do it. Amy's Bible. <laughs> so mermaid flavour is... Um, white chocolate and blueberry. White chocolate and blueberry. And unicorn flavour is rose and white chocolate. Yeah. Yeah, Angela. Oh, there, Pam says, why don't you use the camera when Amy is using the board to put the picture up? Pardon? Pam was saying, why don't you use the, use the camera when Amy is using oh. the board? Uh -huh. Right, are you going to hold it? Are we ready now? Are we ready, ready? Oh, hang on. Right, so hang on a minute. So get ready with your camera, Sky. Are we zoomed in? No, but I'm not going to get it there. Shall we put it under Amy's yeah, camera I'm there? Pop it under the board one. So, yeah. There you go, out of the way, sorry. So if we just hold it there, just hold on one second. You need to go this towards Carol a bit more. No, towards Carol. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Stop. 
Stop. <laughs> yep. And stay there, Maria, for the next half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> That's a beautiful pose, Maria. If my phone wasn't being used for filming what you're doing now, I'd take a picture of you. <laughs> um, oh oh, do, we need to, do we need to go in a bit more? Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Have you got it? I, I think that's long enough. Yeah, we got it. Has everybody got it? Right, we'll do well, it again afterwards. Yeah, we'll do it later. Yeah. <laughs> no bother. Right. So I'm just going to put this next layer on. So again, a lot of me layer of glue. Like, look at this flower, that's yeah. good, doesn't it? And we do like pretty flowers. And we're just going in between all the gaps. So I've been talking to Amy today because I was interested if she was interested in coming to do classes at the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. If we could convince Amy to come and do classes, who would like to come and join her um, on a free tier cake? Wedding cake it would be, wouldn't it? Yeah. So if you're interested, pop your comments on now because we would like to get her in next year if we can do. And um, and I I would love to have her in the kitchen. So if you're interested in having a two-day um, class with Amy in the kitchen, just pop up your comments now if you would love to come and join us in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Trying the madness. <laughs> is my dear and anybody who's been to the sugar and crumbs kitchen before you know how fun it is <laughs> very much what goes on in the kitchen stays in the kitchen oh wendy campion she'd like to come she's a regular <laughs> up here nikki yes yeah, she's a regular as well allison's been in here before yeah oh good there you go there we go got three re regulars rita yep yeah. he knows she'd want to but it's just come from pakistan Oh, yeah. That's a fair Come on, Ina, that's a way to get over here, love. <laughs> so yep. that's our first few layers on, so you can wow. see that it's really starting to come together now. I just Gorgeous. love this flower. It's so beautiful. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's stunning. So lots of people saying yes there, Amy. Looks like you booked, Cute. girl. Looks like you booked. <laughs> I'll be back. Right, it's a two-day <laughs> class. So uh, lots of people have said they would like to come on that class. Um, it's going to be a free-tier wedding cake. Um, I don't know if Amy has actually got a picture of it. Would that be what you're doing next year or would you want to do something different? Um, that is the one I'm doing next year at the minute. Yeah. Um, well, we can get your phone out, flash up a picture under that yeah. camera. So let's just show you what the class would be and that Amy can talk you through it because if it's something that you're interested in and then, and then we'd have to have an idea of what type, which month you would like to be in. Yeah, East. Let me find it in my 50 million photos <laughs> on my phone. <laughs> yeah, here we are. Right, so you need to tell The me. Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen is in Stockport in Perfect. Cheshire. That's gorgeous. So we're just showing you a picture of the cake that Amy is going to make. That is the class cake. So it's covering um, quite a few different techniques. Obviously you'll learn your sharp edges, how to create sharp edges. You're gonna work with copper wire copper leaf i'm going to show you how to stencil on top of copper leaf and also isn't that beautiful that a great sleeve effect here. i want to go on it <laughs> <laughs> we're going to learn um, you could be the helper for the day <laughs> some succulents <laughs> leaves <laughs> some filler flowers and that's a suede effect on that bottom cake it isn't it is, yeah. so would you like to do this class okay if you want to do this class, so it's a suede effect on the bottom, this lovely gold effect in the middle, and she's just told you what you're going to learn. Loads of things. It's a two-day class. It will be in Stockport, and I'm not sure which month Amy would be thinking of, but there's plenty of you there would like to do it. And of course, when we put it up on the page, you can pay a £100 deposit and then pay monthly or weekly instalments. Entirely up to you. And what would that class cost? Three fifty for the two days. Three fifty for the two days. I just tore one of your petals. I'm sorry. <laughs> it takes so long to cut out. So we've now moved on to the middle size cutter, which is this one. And we've got 12 petals. So 
Again, we're just going to do the same as what I've been doing. We're going to thin, we're going to bean, we're going to roll. Just to let you know, we have got a spammer making comments at the moment. Please don't do any smileys or emojis or angry faces at him. Just ignore him. He's a complete fool. Carries on. You can hide the comments. Yeah. We'll get rid of the comment afterwards. Every now and again, you do a fool. In fairness, he's not actually saying anything about us. It's just not so much of a nice comment. Oh, <laughs> nice. I think, it, I think it's his way of trying to attract women. Yes. But it is not actually the right way women would like to be attracted. Oh, Us English sweet. women like to be wined and dined first. Yeah, for sure. For sure. <laughs> I that think he's thinking it might be his lucky night, tender. but it isn't. So please don't react to his comment, any of those who've seen it. And just ignore him and hopefully the silly fool will go away. We had one the other day. Yeah, yeah you were trying to sell yeah. on the sofa or something, didn't yeah. you? <laughs> yeah, but we had them on once before, didn't we? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. There's always someone, though, isn't oh, there? Yeah. We once had someone join and ask if it was a pill party. A pill party? <laughs> a pill. It's like apparently people open shells. Oh, I've seen them. Yes, I've pill. seen them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I've yeah, actually yeah. seen those lads. Have you seen them? A lady sits on a desk, doesn't she? Yeah. And cracks open shells and sells pearls. Yeah, and she measures them all. Yeah. I know, I've never got it. I saw it's an American thing, isn't yes. it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it popped up once on my feed, and I'm there like, <laughs> yeah, what's going on here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> someone kept asking, "Is this not the pearl party?" I was like, "No, yeah. definitely no. not." <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! They throw parties for almost anything nowadays, mm. don't they? So Stockport is based in Cheshire, and Cheshire is near Manchester. You can you can come straight into Manchester Airport. 15 minutes in a taxi to us and the hotels nearby are very, very reasonable. Um, Carol, Carol White, can anyone see my comments? Yes, yes. we can. <laughs> Is there anything you would like to tell us, Carol? <laughs> we missed something. You're not joining the man with the dodgy comments, are you? Or wanting to be at a pearl party? <laughs> So it's looking beautiful, this, isn't it? Yeah, it's getting there. So just to very quickly recap, Amy's used the Squires flower paste this evening. Um, she's coloured it herself using the Colour Splash gels, um, but they are just a, a preference in terms of a brand. So if you've got a particular brand that you like to use and you've got colours of those that you're quite happy with, um, that's absolutely fine. But the colours that she has used is the Pale Pink with a very tiny 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 bit of dark brown yeah. which is just blown my mind <laughs> i know you fell in love with that didn't you straight the away the colour is gorgeous right i found out what the problem is with carol carol's hearts won't work carol oh. carol we can't answer that question here because we don't know either what you'll need to do is private message amy on her own page and speak to her because she isn't actually doing that here in the kitchen tonight she's actually making she a her emoji hearts oh <laughs> I thought she meant a heart and a cake. <laughs> no, I thought she meant her emoji Do you mean your emoji heart. hearts? What do you actually well, mean? Well, either way, show? I can't know. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, that's what I thought she oh, meant. Oh, did you? Oh, I don't know what she means. <laughs> I'm all traumatised. I've got what happens when Carol takes over comments. I know. <laughs> I'm a bit traumatised. I've got a man here trying to attract women. I've got someone selling a couch, someone joining the pearl party, and someone asking about their hearts not working. And in the middle of that, someone doesn't know where Stockport is. Oh, How dare they? <laughs> <laughs> Shall I end over comments to you? I think I need like, another cup of tea. I think it's a genuine need. Never mind the cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome to Sugar and Crumbs Facebook yeah. Live. We're all mad here. <laughs> oh, that sounds bad. Thanks. <laughs> And Maria Wilson's just joined and said, Evening, what have I missed? Well, Maria. <laughs> we're going to start. We're going to start scrolling yes. through to see where the man's trying to attract women. Hello. See if he can get a new boyfriend. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Paul Elise? Seriously, <laughs> why do people do that? I don't know. I don't know, but he's not going the right way to attract well, British women. No. women. British women like to be wined and dined. I think any woman. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. God, there is some right. Half wits on the yeah. go, isn't it? Mm. Uh, do you want another cup of tea? Have you drank that one? I haven't finished this one yet. Do you want me to get another one? Um, yeah, that would be good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So you're probably all sitting yawning watching me 
with my 50 million petals. I promise you it's really nice once it's done. So say how many petals do you think you've done? I think looks well, we're in 50 now. <laughs> Five minute quick jobbing, there you go. Eat <laughs> them slot them together here. Okay, so we're just going to do the same. We're going to glue in the centre, fold them over, and because obviously you've gone up a petal size, these are a little bit easier to fold over, especially if you've got fat thumbs like what I have. And I don't mean that insulting. Insulting. I absolutely love all what you girls create. I tell you, everyone who comes in the kitchen and create flowers are absolutely amazing. And I do think you're all, you all are cake artists. Totally. But... You just like the rustic. <laughs> Rustic's great. <laughs> Carol <laughs> likes an instant result. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay though. You know when you get a kid at school that, that doesn't pay attention and talks a lot? Yeah. Well, you know where I'm coming from, don't you? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> On all my school reports, she's a great kid. She talks she too much. She talks too much and distracts everyone else. <laughs> well, she seems to have carried it through me 58 years. That's just what happens. No, they talk too much and talk not like not talk enough. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Oh, Somebody else got chocolate drops. No thanks. Has our Romeo come back yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> Carl Romeo is really like, he's not getting the anything from us. <laughs> so can you block them off the page now you've seen them? No. Yeah. It's all the balls in the gold, isn't there? Like, on air. So Amy's using a little tiny bit of edible glue just to stick the um, sides of the petals together. The white square on the brush <laughs> it's just a piece of foam pad um, and it's just to rest the brush basically to stop it going on the board obviously because it's got glue on um, and I've done that so many times um, I've put the brush down it's rolled around it's touched something else touched a bit of sugar paste or something that I didn't want to have glue on and you end up in the right sticky mess yeah. so yeah that's not ideal so this saves a lot of hassle so again we're just going to glue onto the Petals. I've got a little bit of blue in here somehow. Don't know where that's come from. It's one of that mysteries, isn't it? Where did that fluff come from in yeah. the face? <laughs> so you're just gonna apply these in between the other petals. Just going all the way around. So it's a fairly simple flower to do. It's very it's just time consuming. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But the thing is, the effect of it when it's complete is absolutely amazing, so it's totally worth it. Yeah. I think it's absolutely stunning. Yeah. So, lots of positive views there, Amy, for a class. Yeah. You booked. Yeah. Get it booked. And then you can have me down again. Annoying you. I've got to take again. <laughs> I'm up for that. Yeah. There's halloumi on there. I'm <laughs> all over it. Because we've got you booked in for next month as well, haven't we? Yeah, you have. What are you going to make for us next month? Um, I'm thinking that it'll be an avalanche rose mm -hmm. um, with some berries and that. You asked for winter. Yeah. And obviously, like, for me, winter, like, a lot of people, winter, you think snowmen, things mm. like that, but that's not me. That's yeah, not, not my your forte. Style. I'm flowers wedding cakes so I'm thinking like of winter wedding bouquets so I'm thinking like a nice burgundy rose and nice so well, the good thing is oh, our so. audience absolutely love flowers yeah so I think it would be amazing for you to come back and do that so mm. what do they think Laura do you want to shout out what Amy's going to make next month yeah, so actually, literally, as you were saying that, someone did ask if we got you booked on any more lives. So we will have Amy back with us next month. Um, like we just said, yeah, we yeah. just got to sort out a day just with diary schedules and everything like that and the show. Um, 
Get yeah, myself all excited <laughs> about rose. <laughs> Distracted Jeff. But yeah, Amy's going thinking of making an avalanche rose for us, which isn't something that we've had on the show before. So that'll be fantastic to see. Um, winter theme colours and stuff like that. I'm sure Amy will come up with something absolutely fantastic for us. Just wing it. Absolutely. You're used to us. Yeah. You've, only yeah. be, you've been here something with us like today and that's it. <laughs> wing it, wing it. So I will tell you a funny story. I did, I was looking through my messages with Amy and uh, with Amy and apparently I, I looked through my messages. I was going through things last night and I actually asked Amy to come on our Facebook Live. Was it May 2018? Well, crikey, I said, and then her message was, great, I'll get back to you. Oh. <laughs> when did we agree this last I'm, month? I'm here now. <laughs> so I'm what I've done is, while she was here, we're going to get her in yeah. next month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, making up for that. Yeah, yeah. I didn't do that intentionally. I'm the worst person. Thinking? Because it was Danielle Crouch who asked me to ask you to come up. Yeah. And I said to Danielle, I'm sure I've asked you to come up before. Yeah. And then it was a, and then last night I found a message. I'm terrible. If I don't respond straight away, or I'm the kind of person where like, in my head I've responded. Yes. And then <laughs> with it. Yeah, I do it all the time. It's a nightmare. So this is our next lot of uh, medium-sized petals. I'm going to peel them off. Sorry, this is sweetener in there, not a sugar. Got... But I don't mind sweetener. I'll tell you what I could be doing with. What? Just a wee sup more milk, please. Oh, right. Okay. I kind of kind of said to you, but I like baby tea. Oh, do you? Right, because um, you've had all sorts of varieties today. Yeah, I have. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we was in the, the cafe this morning, wasn't we? And I was like, oh, to come with this little dish, didn't she? Oh, yeah, she didn't know what tea strainer and dish was for. She looked oh. at this tea strainer well, and this little dish. Yes. <laughs> for what's that dish for? I said, to sit your tea, sit, sit your tea strainer in. <laughs> it's not used to text, it's a tea bag. <laughs> yeah, that's perfect, thank you. I was like, this is very posh. <laughs> and I'm not a posh Don't person. Don't worry, the second time, we take you to the rough joints. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> I'm sure I'll fit in. Fine. <laughs> we chat you up the first time round. Yeah. That's all right, though. Right, I'm back. We're getting there. We're getting there, we're getting there. How long have you been on for? Uh, one hour ten. Oh. Mm -hmm. How many? Another two hundred petals, is it? Aye, another two hundred. <laughs> 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 Any more chocolate, anyone? Anyway? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so hopefully you've screenshot that list. So um, let's tell them about other things that you do. So you do yeah. online tutorials as well. Yeah, I do. So I do like an online night school. Um, which, although the ones that's available via the website just now are on, they've been on their past, you can still buy them and go into them. Oh, can you? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Um, so they're there forever. So they're still available to purchase. And what type um, of cost are they then? £99 mm. for six weeks. For six weeks? Oh, yes. goodness me. Yeah. So and how much is it? How long is each session? Um, anything from an hour and a half to two. It depends on how detailed it is, what you're doing. So it just, it varies. It depends on what we're doing, really. Like the last one we've done was just purely flowers. There was no techniques or anything like that. Mm. It was just six weeks of flowers. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's a really good, what we was kind of trying to do is, um, I can't go to every part of the no, UK and teach. You can't. I'm also aware that not everyone it does cakes in the UK has the kind of maybe a bit of a budget where they mm. can pay three three fifty yeah, for no, I agree. a two day course. So by offering them a course for ninety nine pounds over the six weeks, it's not as detailed as what one of the, like the two day courses is, but it's still giving them like a little taster and obviously they're still learning stuff at the end of the day. And it's there forever for them. Mm. So it, it's good. It's done through Facebook. So once it's purchased, they're added to a secret Facebook group. A bit like yourselves, the videos are pinned to the top. They're in the announcements so they can go through them week by week. Um, if they have any questions, if they post it on the wall, we can then it'll flag up to us and we can answer and help them as much as we can. So mm. it, it's been it's been a huge success. It's mm. been really, really good. In the band, it's a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic way of learning that, though, isn't yeah. it? And, and it I quite like that idea. So, when, what would you do then? So, on the night school, would you tell everybody what they need for preparation before, or would they yeah. just be watching? Would they be doing it with you? Yeah, well, they can do. So, what we do is um, the couple of weeks before the night school, like obviously, we don't supply any tools or any kit mm. for them. 
Um, so we give them a list mm. uh, of what they're going to need and what they're going to use it from. And then the day of, say, class one, my admin that's on it will be like, right, this is what we're doing tonight. This is the tools you're going to need. And some people like to do it on the mm -hmm. night alongside me doing it. Some people just like to sit and watch because then they can type yeah. questions while I'm working because Ian's obviously there answering, asking the questions. Mm -hmm. Um, and like I say, some of them will wait a few days and go back to video and do it. And it's kind of like a bit of homework for them. Yeah. So by the following week, they've hopefully got their week one done for putting like their second week on. And then normally, like if we're doing like a cake, week six is where we put everything together, wire flowers together and things like that. Mm. And it's it's amazing seeing everybody's work mm. coming together. It's yeah. And it's really like light-hearted banter. You've got Ian in the background thinks he's just like the best thing since sliced loaf. Well, he does. So. Oh, <laughs> and all the, all the ladies like Ian, <laughs> Mr. Cakes as he calls himself. Yeah. So, um, it, and it is, it's just a real relaxed way of learning. Um, it's, you know, it's nothing too fancy it's nothing too prim and proper because that's not what i'm about and everybody enjoys it and they learn a lot mm. like it's in for me it's rewarding when you see everybody's work once they've done yeah. it and they've man they can't mm. believe that they've completed it and i'm like see you can do it mm. i quite like that mm. way of learning what yeah. a good idea yeah. so guys if any of you want to start learning with um amy pop along to a, a facebook page or website and then you can see those classes and sign up for them. If this is a, it's like a home, home. tutoring, isn't it? Yeah, it's home yeah. tutoring yeah. basically. And it just means that we can reach out to more people all yeah. over the countryside really, which is good. Super. That's good fun. And then you've got to remember it's a course. So what you're paying for is the course. And the good thing is you can go back to it whenever yeah. you want to. Keep it forever Always as Amy's just said. Yeah. So lots of courses on there. The cutters are from Amy as well. And then everything else that Amy's using tonight, we actually sell on our website. If you'd like to come shopping with us, we hope that you would. And um, Amy is going to be at CI. So are we. I'm going to be at the stage sometime on Friday, somewhere in CI, around about half ten in the morning. Round <laughs> <laughs> about. Just go and find Jackie Round Kelly about. and I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll be demoing on our stand. Um, I'm demoing Nifty Nozzles all day. And I think my sidekick for the day is Karen, isn't it? She's my helper. And um, Laura will be looking after the sugar and crumb side. John will be doing his usual wandering around and trying to escape. <laughs> the usual man thing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I always laugh at Cake International when you're walking about and you see the husbands being dragged around. <laughs> basically scuffing their feet along the floor, yeah. carrying all the, the bags. bags. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, I'd rather be anywhere but yeah. here. <laughs> that makes me giggle. I will never take an Ian once to Cake International. Mm. And he didn't really enjoy it. And I definitely wouldn't take him again. Because he's like, mm, do you really need that? Do you really need to buy that? And I'm like, do I really need to have you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't think. I can only think it'd be John's worst nightmare for me to drag him around the cake show. Yeah. yeah. It's bad enough we have to take him anyhow. <laughs> if, he, if he could avoid going, he would. Yeah. yeah. These men, people, they're just uh, they're, uh, a hindrance at times. <laughs> So Anne Flynn's just commented, she's done all your night classes and it's the best thing she's ever done and worth every penny. Yes, yeah, she has. She's done all five of them. Mm. Top student. Oh. Um, lots of people always keep asking me about top tips about going to CI. So this is my top tips to you. Wear a pair of trainers. Mm -hmm. The comfiest shoes that you've possibly got. Okay. Food is expensive. So make sure you take a bag with crisps, sandwiches, bottles of water and if you can afford everything there to eat the queue's horrendous yeah yeah to tell you that and what i would say to you is take a small suitcase on wheels so you know when you put it in your um, overhead locker on it on flights that small traveling suitcase make sure it's on wheels take one of those fill it up with all your stash of your cakes your biscuits your chocolates your sweets and then as you eat through them Replace them with bags of sugar at Sugar and Crumbs. What stands our stand? <laughs> that is a great one. What, st what stand number are we on? I don't know. We're somewhere on, on ILB, I think. <laughs> so what you do is you scoff it all as you run up ILA. Or maybe start at ILF. But don't buy anything, because we well, can't, because you won't have scoffed it all. By the time you've scoffed it all, get to ILB, where I am. Buy all your icing sugars, your nifty nozzles, have a good chat with us and go home. <laughs>
<laughs> Nothing else matters. Is that bomb done? <laughs> done. <laughs> <laughs> Without being selfish, that's all you need to do. <laughs> Come and watch me on the stage with Jackie Kelly somewhere. God knows what I'm making. I can't even remember what I'm doing today. Oh. But it'll be something. <laughs> I have been told I need to throw things into the audience. I did ask them, would it be appropriate me launching... 500 gram bags of icing sugar into the audience. Probably not. Probably not, but I just wanted to <laughs> I just wanted to be sure that we were on the same track, so I might be throwing nozzles into the audience. It's so innocently bagged. I know, isn't that funny? So she said, when you're on the stage, is there any chance you can bring some freebies to throw into the audience? So I wrote back, I went, oh, there are a bit heavy, these bags of sugars, to start launching at people. Are you sure it's going to be okay? <laughs> Everyone's sitting in their yellow helmets and nuggets before they get in here. You need this for health and safety reasons. Exactly, as I start boomeranging them across the stage. <laughs> I'm going to be, I'll stand right at the back so you absolutely yeah. want that ice and sugar and I'll catch it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think we might go for the safe option and launch a few nifty nozzles in. The only problem, they are metal, so I just hope I don't catch anybody's eyebrows or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so top tips are trainers, trousers. I did say something to a lady on the phone the other day. Yeah, you don't want to wear a skirt, do you? I did say something to a lady on the phone the other day, which I don't know really whether I should say it on here, but make sure you wear something beginning with T. Anyhow... You're not old enough yet, yeah, Amy. Maria's not oh, old yeah, enough. Oh, yeah, I know what that is. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you wear some at beginning tea. Double padded. So, <laughs> Water, drinks, sandwiches. Go up the aisles. Stop at aisle B. Find sugar and crumbs. Fill up your suitcase. Go home. <laughs> Love it. Uh, Oh, yeah, and Sharon Rose saying, and if you go with a, par a partner or a friend, take a walkie-talkie set. <laughs> <laughs> they could buy one of our tote bags. Helen my Oh, yes, let's tell them about your tote bags. Yeah, so... Um, Have you got, you've got one with you, haven't you? No, I don't. Daniel's making them as we speak. Ah. That was an apron. Oh, was that the apron? Yeah. Ah, sorry, right, yeah. So, um, we've got some tote bags for sale on the website, which you can get pick up down at the show if you buy them. Um, obviously it's got the Couture Wedding Cakes logo on it, but it's also got the hashtag on it, Be A Kind Baker. Mm -hmm. So the reason behind this Be A Kind Baker is, um, following recent events that's happened over the past few while, I have decided that I don't like bullying, I'm not going to tolerate bullying, and I want to stamp out bullying in the cake world because there's far mm -hmm. too much of it. Um, so anyone that's on my student page knows about the hashtag be a kind baker so it's really good to see the bags are going to be down at the show people's going to display them and we're going to work together just to kind of try and stop people in their tracks from picking on other people because at the end of the day we all came in the same way we all leave the same way and we're all trying to do the same thing so why mm. not do it in mm. peace and harmony Share your love, share your knowledge, be mm. a kind baker. It's not that difficult. Basically, what Amy's saying is, over recent events in Sugar and Crumbs, and not just mine, on plenty of other groups and yeah. other things, um, Amy wants to sort of bring a little bit more awareness. And you know what, you're fed yeah. up of hearing me going on about things, so it makes a nice change for somebody else's voice to say something. But you know, the cake world is meant to be fantastic cake yeah. is meant to make you smile you know when somebody when you're down it's go and have a coffee and cake or a cup of tea and cake yeah. it's all about cheering up and you know sometimes there's some really nasty comments said in the cake world it's totally unnecessary really and i don't know why and i don't understand why there has to be negativity you know what we're just making a frigging cake it doesn't matter uh -huh. whether you're making it professionally or you're making it for the kids on a sunday yeah. or your husband it doesn't matter and you know we all have different levels of school skills the reason I do Facebook Lives is to help promote um, sugar and crumbs, but I also do it because I want to help people who've just started doing cake. You know what? Make your cake. That's what our group is all about. The sugar and crumbs all about cake group. Make your cake. Don't be frightened of posting your picture if it's your new cake. You don't have to aspire to be like some top designer. No. You know what? Just make a nice, wholesome, delicious cake. And you know, it can just be as simple as a Victoria sponge, Slap your buttercream off on if you want to, or make pretty swirls. That's what yeah. it's about. 
But the one thing that we don't like, we don't like negativity, we don't like comments, there's no, no nasty comments, there's no need for it. And um, I've had a couple of incidences since I've had the group that people feel that because I'm the leader of the group that they feel it's their, within their right to have a bit of a nasty pop at me. I've had two incidences earlier on this year with some really bad negativity and I am a strong girl and I have to tell you it took me over the edge. It really unnerved me. It upset me. I was very tearful. I'm not like that. I'm very, very strong. And um, I nearly closed the group down and basically I lost control of the group. I did get my act pulled back together again. I took control of the group again and I am strong. But I did say if I have any more social media bullying or if anybody wants to go on a group and call me certain names beginning with a C and it's not the name Carol, I will out them on social media. And that's what I've just done recently. And I will continue to out anybody who bullies anybody. So do be very careful. Amy has become very supportive and she was one of those supportive people in the group. And in fact, she ended up in the bit of this tip that in, went on. In the firing line. Yeah, so she ended up in the firing line as well. And that's why she's come up with this idea, you know, this hashtag, be a kind baker. It's very important. You know, we're here to help encourage inspire okay not be negative deflated and miserable exactly we don't do negative nancy's no we don't so so and, and i've had my little chat about <laughs> that okay so anybody else comes on my group and acts really <laughs> shitty be careful so. it, it is just it is basically I, I because i feel like i've got a bit of a platform i want to make people aware that do you know what? We're all in this together. Yeah. We've all started somewhere. God, like, even I started an item exchange with some of my keeps. But do you know what? At the end of the day, you've got to think. If you've got time to sit and pick at other people, other cakers' faults, if you're sitting, going through their pages, then you're not doing well in your cake business because mm. you've got time mm. to do that. So let's lift each other up. Let's yeah, be nice. let's help people. Yeah, let's help people. Let's be nice and let's share our knowledge. It's not that difficult. And to be fair, it's the whole reason why we do these Facebook Lives. Yeah. You know, I give up every Monday and Thursday night. Well, not every Thursday night, but quite a lot of Thursday nights. You know, I spend a lot of time having people come up to the studio uh, or the kitchen, whatever you want to call it. We do it all free. You know, I ask my staff to come in on a Monday night. They don't have to. You know, they've been in work since 7 o'clock in the morning. You know, and then they still come along here on a Monday night. We have guests coming over. You know, the guests come over and show you their skills for free. You know, I try and help and contribute to lots of things for them if I can do. And, you know, we do all that to help you learn about products and skills and decorating. And that's what's inspiring. That's what it should be. Let's have a look at this. How that's beautiful amazing. is this? We're that is amazing. In. Come on, the pearls. How many more petals have we got? <laughs> <Good. We're> getting <laughs> here. We're getting here. You know, so we're all meant to be helping, inspiring. And that's what the Sugar and Crumbs group was about. The Sugar and Crumbs group is called Sugar and Crumbs because it's our shop. It's our business. It's what we're about. Do I want any other shop advertised in there? No. I'm sorry. I'm very upfront about that. It's in the rules. It's Sugar and Crumbs. Yeah. You know, if somebody wants their shop advertised, go and get your own group. I'm doing my group. And then it's all about cake. Because you know what? Let's chat about cake. Let's have a look at cake. I don't care if it's just a butterfly cupcake. You know what? Just make a cake. Yeah. And what people forget is there's newbies all the time. Yeah. We totally. all had to start somewhere. Okay? We all had to make our first bun, our first cookie, our first cake. We've all had disasters. And some of us, not me, have gone on to be amazing at cakes. I like rustic. You know what that means? <laughs> we don't know what it's going to look like. But it's going to like taste summer. good. <laughs> it's going to look like something. And my thing is, I just want it to taste good. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. I'm not bothered about anything else. So, there we go. Isn't that flower gorgeous? Absolutely. So, somebody was just asking. Um, it, uh, Angie Bradbury said it looks gorgeous. Are you going to put a calyx on it? No. No, we don't need one. I can't be bothered. But you could if you wanted. But you could if you wanted. Yeah. It's your choice, personal <laughs> choice. It's down to you. To be honest with you, right, calyx is great if you're going to see the back of a flower. 
But with these big flowers, by the time you've stuck that into yeah, a cake, not you're gonna not going to see yeah. anything. Yeah. You're just putting more Don't weight onto time, the yeah. flower. Don't waste your time. Good. Anyhow, so that was a nice little chant. How many flowers have we got? How many petals have we got oh, past now? We're on the home stretch now. <laughs> we're on the home stretch now. We're on the large ones. Yeah. So the big ones, they don't get folded over. They just get thinned and veined. They get whacked on. We're on the home stretch. So, so is there any comments I missed there, Laura? You might want to read out. No, there's just a few people asking um, what paste we're using. So we're using the Squire's Flower Paste. Um, it's been coloured, so this was white when Amy started and she's coloured it using the Colour Splash Gels. Um, the colours that um, Amy's used is a pale pink and a tiny, tiny bit of dark brown. Um, so if you've missed the beginning of the live, Amy did show you um, the quantities and things like that just as a rough guide. Um, and just for, just for anyone who did miss any of it, you can catch up when we're finished. So when we are finished, the whole Facebook live will be pinned to the top of our Facebook page. It's also saved on YouTube. Um, and then Maria's one minute videos will go over there as well. So we, we do pin it to the top of our Facebook page for about a week. Uh, oh, it might be till Monday, is it? Till Monday? What's that? <laughs> I wasn't listening. <laughs> Thanks, Carol. Oh, sorry, I was reading the comments. Don't worry. I'll just keep <laughs> sorry. talking. It's all right. <laughs> sorry, I was reading the comments. The, um, face, this live, how long does it get pinned to the top of the Facebook page for? Until next month. Oh, yeah. Until Monday. Oh, I, now I know the question. I can answer it. Yes, yeah, till right, Monday. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's all right. I've got out of the end. So, so next Monday. What Sunday, day is it today? Thursday. Oh, right. Okay. I know. It's weird because we normally do a Monday night and it... I, and I you went here. Weird. You were in Amsterdam. And, yes. <laughs> Somewhere like that. <laughs> Place I've never been before. Um, so, yeah, it, it does feel weird. But I yeah. do keep thinking it's a Monday. It's really strange. But it's nearly Friday. I thought that's where Lily was Monday. Monday. <laughs> <laughs> um, the bags, if you want to buy the bags, you just go on to Amy's uh, website. You can buy them from there and she'll bring them to the show. She's there for three days and um, I don't know where she's going to be. But, you know, if you message her and tell her where you want to pick your bag up from, anybody who wants, who's paid for them and wants to pick them up off, up off our stand can gladly, Amy can drop them off at our stand well, and we distribute there. Be good. Mm. So if you want to do that... Yeah, as long as, you, as, long as you name them yeah. all. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if they bring their invoice. Yeah, yeah. they're all the same. Yeah. yeah. So what I'm doing now is I'm just... This is the last lay the petals on my way to thin and vein. Are these last ones? This one's here. Oh my God, I can't believe it. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, so when it comes... Anyway, so let's just go back to the social media bullying. It has to stop. I've run the group now for 18 months. I've had three incidences. One was when we opened the group in the April of 2018. We had a massive kickoff in the May. Nothing to do with us, uh, an actual group, to the point that everybody knew who this group was, and that knocked me off the rails a bit. The group has run beautifully, and then we had two incidences in February and March. Again, knocked me off the group, and you know what? I'm not taking it anymore. I may well be a fat woman, 58 years of age, but you know what? I really don't need you to tell me that. I can tell myself that. <laughs> 58 and fabulous. <laughs> Fat 58 and fabulous. Well, there you go. <laughs> Anyhow, I will say 97% of the group is amazing. Yes. Yeah. I'd probably say 98. Do you think we'd stretch to 98 oh, now? I think so. Yeah. Our group is pretty amazing. Yeah. I say this, I say this about even just the Facebook lives because... The feed moves very, very quickly with comments and I can never keep up with questions and things. And you can guarantee that there's another member watching who will jump in and pop a link on for me or answer the yeah, question. that's always handy. It's brilliant, yeah, it honestly. And, and I'll sometimes see a comment and mean to go back to it and then when I do, it's already been answered under my car. Yeah. I can always rely on yeah. you a lot. <laughs> that is good though, isn't yeah, it? It is, it good. is. Yeah. it's fantastic. And for any, anyone that's new to the Sugar and Crumbs Facebook Lives, like we said, we always aim to do a live every week. So mo most often now it's twice a week. It's always free. It's a f completely free tutorial and it always will be. Um, we completely appreciate the time and the effort that our tutors come and, and go to for us. It's very, very much appreciated and we know all our viewers appreciate it as well. Um, it's hard to do a Facebook Live. There's a lot of time and effort that goes into even just the preparation mm. of it, let alone the time actually filming and, and publishing it and everything like that so we do appreciate it 
And, um, and you're right there, Laura, because when you're doing the Facebook Lives, Sugar and Crumbs is actually supporting that. Yeah. You know, you know, we're working at getting demonstrators in. You know, it's contributing to their costs of getting them to here yeah. as well. We always send our demonstrators home with gifts. We always let them have a look. You've had a good time in the I warehouse today. I did. I was today. like filling a box today. <laughs> I was like, like, I'll get them a card. And she's like, no, just have it. I'm like, yeah. oh, no, on. we always do what we can to help people. Yeah. You know, even though we don't physically pay them for coming, you know, Sugar and Crumbs does support whoever comes into the kitchen. You know, uh, Maria and Laura, as much as they would love to give up their time for free, unfortunately they can't. They've got wages to earn. Sugar and Crumbs supports that. Maria makes videos all week, again, supported by Sugar and Crumbs. Laura has to answer all the questions, again, supported by Sugar and Crumbs. So, you know, and we do all this completely free for you. All we're asking you to do is support Sugar and Crumbs in any way you can. Yeah. That's all we're asking you to do. So if you can occasionally come along, shop in our shop, we would be very grateful. And the other reason we do the Facebook Lives is we want you to get to know the owner. We want you to get to know the staff. We want to get you to know artists. And you know, when I was at Cake and Bake and Cake International last year, um, it's so lovely how many of you came up to me and said, Carol, I just love coming into the show. I feel as though I know everybody. Yeah. I feel as though I can go to Karen Davies and say hello to Karen. I feel as though I can say hello to Marion. I feel as though I can walk around here, say hello to Amy Coyle, Sweet Stamp Girls. They feel as though they know everybody. They come up to you, don't they, Laura? Yeah, go yeah. over to Maria. Yeah. You know, go and say hi to John. They feel is that they walk into these shows knowing people and then the nicest thing is is that they personally come along to me and thank me for introducing them to people which is so lovely yeah yeah no it is it is it is lovely when we get that feedback mm. it, we really it really appreciate it, it? Yeah. yeah and we are going to cake international we're up for three awards okay we are up for best retailer i really truly dearly hope that we win best retailer our reviews are five out of five. We've got more reviews than anybody else on our Facebook page and on Google. I do hope that that is passed through and that we will get that. You never know. Um, we are also up for products of, excellence. products of excellence. Okay. We've got one for the um, edibles, which is the flavoured ice and sugars. And we're up for... Um, the products tools which is the Russian piping tips I'm not so confident we would get that one if I'm really honest I think that should maybe go to one of my other fellow friends that I think deserves it I think the Russian piping tips we should have won that many years ago but anyhow that's a different story at the time and um, I'm not up for learning which I'm quite sad about because I feel as though I've offered two years ten months of learning oh yes some of it's um, product related some of it is you know, selling new items, but at the end of the day, it is a learning experience. Every Facebook Live is about learning something, and we like to call our Facebook Lives life, light hearted entertainment, learning and entertainment. But I didn't get there, I didn't even get a nomination, which surprises me considering the amount of people that message to say they voted. So, but there you go, that's how these things work. And we shall see what happens on the night. Yes. So we'll see. Are. <laughs> are you going to the awards? Yeah. I am. Yeah. Got to be on my best behaviour. <laughs> not too much gin. Definitely not any Prosecco. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't drink, so I can gossip and tell you all what you get up to. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's like my Ian. He doesn't drink. And then the next he's like, mm, you said this. No. You did that. <laughs> you need to be quiet. Yes. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss. <laughs> yes. Right, so we don't have to fold these petals over. This is the last couple of layers. Just a little bit of glue halfway down there, and we're just going to start applying. Right, so Susan Tyrrell, the petal veiner is from Squire's Kitchen. Yeah. Now, mine haven't arrived yet for the shop, so I'll have mine in next week. But if you're going to buy any of the cutters off Amy, she's actually got a couple of the veiners available. She hasn't got many, so she has got a couple of veiner. What's the name of that veiner that it's, you're using? I think it's the Lily All Vein, but like I literally on my site only have a few veiners. It's the ones that I use all the time, so it's yeah. really easy to find. Yeah. yeah. So Linda Mills says, yeah, be happy, Carol. I'm very happy. And I'm glad I've got my strength back. But I will tell you, my 58 years, I've never suffered depression or anxiety. I've had my moments. I've had a lot. I've lived a life that's been very interesting. And you know what? If I could write a book, I would, but I don't have time. <laughs> but I'm sure it'd be a bestseller. But anyhow, there you go. 
But what I will say is uh, there's been times of owning this group and especially what happened in March and especially what happened the other week. I never thought I would be so low and that's not good. Yeah. But I'm back and I'm fighting fit and I am strong. So don't worry. But anyhow, there's a couple of interesting comments here and I love them. Samantha Rawlins, she says, you're not fat, you're just harder to kidnap. <laughs> Built, I love that one. Built for comfort, not for speed. <laughs> I remember my, my um, friend saying to me, the thing is, Carrie, you've got to look at it like this. Um, oh, it was, it was about, no, it was my mum who told me when I was a, a young girl. And she said, listen, Carrie, you've got to look at this. Uh, the bigger they are, the harder the fall. <laughs> the lighter they are, the further they fly. <laughs> That's so, funny. Uh, Maloney Carol, the word is curvaceous and fabulous. There you go. <laughs> right. Wow, look. I know, that is so amazing. There's no more petals now, is there? No, no, oh, no. right, there's no more petals. Yes. Look at this. It is amazing. Look Beautiful. at that, two handfuls. In fairness, you know what? This has been a, a long session with lots of petals, but I have to tell you, so Amy, worth it. it's worth it. That is absolutely stunning. Yeah. Is that stunning? Two handfuls that's taken. So what we're going to do is a good old bit of kitchen foil. Love kitchen foil for drying these big flowers. You're just going to flip it over and then you can mould the kitchen foil and how you want it to dry. And you're just going to put it over a mug. And just is that amazing? Move it about there. That wasn't the hot mug of tea that you just put Definitely there. Definitely not. It was a clean one I got earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I was well prepared. Yeah, I was say. Isn't that amazing? That's just push that into beautiful. the centre a little bit. A bit more. Oh, yeah, there we are. Right. Yeah, there we are. Yeah. <laughs> How amazing is Gorgeous. that? Was that not worth this live, eh? Seriously. I'm in love with the colour. I love I it. You love that colour, don't that you? Colour. From the minute you walked through the door, you were loved in that. Do you know what it is? Do you is? think you're a vintage type I of am. girl? I am. My bedroom is completely vintage. Blues and pinks. Yeah. Amy, yeah. My, Amy, that is stunning. It's nice. nice. Gorgeous. I have to tell you, that's stunning. And everybody else is saying it's stunning as well. There you go. Everybody, what do you think? Absolutely Hopefully everybody gorgeous. gives it a bash. It'd be good to yeah. see some come up on the page. Definitely, yeah. When you've got your cutters, you've got your stash of flower paste and everything like that, pop a picture on the community page for us. Let's see what you've everyone, done. Everyone Give is going mad. We can really they save appreciate that video it. Then? They, can save, they can save this live yeah, so that they yeah, can yeah, recreate it at a later date. Yes, yeah. always. So the live is always available on YouTube. It will, it will be pinned yeah. to the top of the page for until Monday, but it's always available. None of our videos go into archive or anything like that, they're always available. So you can you know always what, find you know it on YouTube. So good, Amy? Sorry. You're doing it the other way around. around. <laughs> yeah, it has to be. Do you know what's so amazing? Maria is going to squash that into one minute. Eh? How amazing and, um, is that? How many flowers? How many petals is that? That's amazing. We could turn out if how we many could do that. Like, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> how many petals was there in there? Oh, that we we need, need to count it. So. Four and seven and seven, six. Oh, I can't add up, it's too late. I've got a calculator. Well, there's a lot of petals and Maria's going to squash all of it. Uh, Laura's just going to count up how many petals there is. And Maria's going to squash all of it into a one minute video. So guys, I know lots of you had to leave because um, time was ticking on. But so many of you are still here, which is absolutely amazing. Do give Amy lots of loves. I know you've been doing any app. Isn't she just fabulous? And um, I'm so lucky that I've already talked her over at Nando's to come back again <laughs> next month. <laughs> it was easy persuaded. It was only me that done it. Breakfast. Breakfast this morning. Nando's this afternoon. Shopping in the warehouse. She's back next month. And she's going to make you a beautiful rose. And you're going to want to watch that. Okay, go on. So we've got 69. 69? So we've got four centres. after nine. I know, yeah. The four <laughs> centres and the single petals counts to 69. What Maria's oh just said is that she's going to pop um, the image that we've got of the petals and the sages on our recipe website. Oh. So we, we've obviously, we've shown it during the live. So if you've got a screenshot of it, fantastic. Um, but Maria will pop it over to our sister, our sister site, which is sugarandcrumbsmixingitup.co.uk or .com. You'll find and the good thing is, when Maria puts them in the recipe website as well, if you go into it, she actually puts a link to the live. So she'll pop a link on there so that we don't have to write it all out. Yeah. So whenever you want to go back to it at any time, and you know what, I think we'll just call it um, Amy Archibald's Dahlia. 
This is what you said, Delilah, weren't you? I know, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> so, anyhow, so we'll call it that. And then Maria will put a picture of that, the instructions, with a link to the Facebook Live, so it'll be there. So you can go back to it all again as many times as you want. And when Amy comes back with us next month, we'll do exactly the same thing again. But thank you guys so much for the patience. It's been absolutely lovely having you in the kitchen as per usual. Have you enjoyed it? I have that. Okay, and let's just go over a couple of things, okay? because I do know that people kept asking about this. So if we just go to this camera here, Laura. Mm -hmm. So Amy's website, Couture Wedding Cakes, okay? So it's www.coutureweddingcakes.co.uk. You can buy all these fabulous cutters off Amy. Sugar and Crumbs does not sell the cutters, simply because by the time I've added a little bit of money on for myself, plus VAT, you know what, it just makes them very expensive. So these are Amy's personal cutters. She actually has them made herself, okay? And in this set comes this one and three, three petal cutters, three, isn't it? Yeah. Three. Yeah, three petal cutters that are hanging around the kitchen somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're three different sizes. There's two of them. Oh, we've got three. So in this set, how much is this set? 27. 27. So I there also you go. use this set for making sunflowers. Oh, yeah. There you go. And gerberas as well. Yeah. So they're a bit multifunctional. Yeah. This here is from Squire's Kitchen. Now we will have these in stock next week, okay? But if you, and some other veiners as well that Amy mm -hmm. has recommended for me to have in stock. So you can either wait till next week, but Amy has got some on her site. So if you are going over to buy that set off Amy, then you know what, you may as well try and pick up one of these as well. If you want a tote bag, you can buy that off Amy as well. You will need to bring a print off copy of the receipt. Don't just yeah. bring your phone because I can't take that. So print off a copy so that you can leave it with us and we can hand you a tote back, be a kind baker. So that would be great if you support that. Um, and what else is it? Everything else you can buy off the Sugar and Crumbs website, which is www.sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. And I don't know what day I'm on anymore either. <laughs> so we'll be back whenever we will be back, which will be when, Laura? Monday. And who will we be back with? Sarah. Sarah. Who? Oh, right. No, is it? It's not Sarah Doyle. On Monday? Yeah, I think it is. Is it Sarah Doyle? <laughs> is it? Are we sure? <laughs> All right, apparently it's Sarah Doyle. I don't know. Actually, you know what? I don't know. Yeah. I've had a terrible week this week. I can't remember anything. <laughs> Right, okay then, Sarah Doyle. It's it Sarah now. Doyle. <laughs> oh, it's she knows Sarah's about it. Too. She's like, what? <laughs> actually, I think it might be Sarah Doyle. Yeah, actually. It's a, it's a mark, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> but I think it is. Anyhow, if it's Sarah Doyle, which I'm actually now convinced and beginning to be very confident that it is Sarah, she is going to be using Molly, Molly's creature creator mold <laughs> and she is going to make a christmas stocking with something popping out the top of it can't remember what okay. um, but whatever it will be it will be fabulous yeah. she's a great lady love having her in the kitchen and then there'll be no live on thursday because we will be down at cake international setting up the stand yeah. what i will be doing i'll be doing some lives during the day because i need to get away from them all when they're building the stand <laughs> so i might just go and have a wander and see who else is there um so i might do that sometime during the day so we'll be doing a half past six set off on thursday we'll post some pictures like we do as we normally do show you how we're getting on and then what, what day do you go I'm down very early on the Friday. That's another yeah, early right, flight okay. for me. <laughs> so I'll be down there. So I might do a little walk around then. And then on the Friday, I am on the Jackie Kelly stand. Uh, not the Jackie Kelly stand. Warm the cake in bags are icing. Yeah. And I'll be on the cake international <laughs> stand. <laughs> Cake International stand. I don't know which stand I'm on actually. If I carry on the way I'm going, it's probably going to be a little shed round the corner and locked up for a few days. Anyhow, wherever I am, find Jackie Kelly and wherever she is, I'll be there. And Cake International have asked me to give some giveaways. Um, I don't think it would be a good idea for me to start launching bags of sugar across <laughs> the showroom. So I'll start launching nozzles. So make sure you're ready to catch them, okay? Um, other than that, as I said to you, if you're going to do your shopping, make sure you put your 
your trainers on, trousers on, always good, nice and comfy because there's nowhere to sit really and you'll have to sit on the floor. floor. Yeah. You see them all, don't you? Yeah. All on the floor, <laughs> sprawled yeah. over the floor because they're exhausted. Uh, bring yourself a suitcase, one of those little trolley dollies and what you do, fill it up with all your food, all your shopping, all your drinks, start running up aisle F, run up and down, up and down, don't do any shopping, just keep eating all your goodies in your bag, <laughs> end up at B, whatever we are, which I think would be 26, something like that. Um, but end up there at Sugar and Crumbs. We'll sell you loads of sugar, give you loads of energy to run out of there to go home and start baking cakes. <laughs> how cool is that? There oh, I've got to buy my nifty nozzles. There you I'll go. show you how to, do, how, to use, how to use some of those as well. <laughs> do we like that? Sounds perfect. Sounds perfect. <laughs> right, I think we're done now. Is it 10 o'clock? Yep, pretty right, much. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> see you, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 I will see you all soon. I hope I've still got my marbles on Friday. Oh, God. Is it Friday? No, it's Monday, no. isn't it? I don't know where I am. We're going. Bye. Bye. Here we are. Bye. I think I'm falling. <laughs>